I truly try not. I am feeling some things that I haven't in a very, very, very long time. My third eye is very sharp. My intuition is cold. My common sense is off the charts. So, I'm no dummy. Okay? I think shit through it. Not only that, but I pray. I meditate. I ask God for the answers. I ask God for signs. Um, I'm deep in my metaphysical. In my metaphysics as well. Um, and so I'm just, it's just so many layers and I'm just multifaceted that way. And I believe that this is my ministry. I believe that this is why I was placed here. So then therefore I can give you guys some form of guiding light through your past. Sometimes do I have to get away from here? I do. Am I judged a lot? I am. Am I talked about a lot? I am. But it's worth it for me, okay? It's worth it for me because I'm helping somebody get through and get over, you know what I mean? And that for me is pay enough. Does YouTube pay me a great deal of money? No. No, they don't pay me a great deal of money, but what they give me, I am thankful. I'm thankful because the, the seeds that I've sown for me, YouTube take, takes care of that. You know, whatever else I make in this life or anything that I make away from this platform is merely bonuses. You know, so for that, I say that I am forever grateful. I'm forever thankful because YouTube has fed my kids. Okay? I done been through some things. YouTube has made sure some lights been on in this motherfucker. Okay? Um, I was really going through some things and when you're building you know uh <laughs> there's highs and lows with some some days and weeks is this and some days and weeks is that you know what i mean and but nigga you gotta stick with it you gotta stick with it you know and to grow you gotta be uncomfortable and you gotta be okay with that you got to know that okay look this right here is merely temporary once I go through this little phase right here, it's going to be so much better. It's just the fact that if I quit right now, I don't know that I'm just inches away from being there. You know, so you just, the thing is you can't give up. You know, sometimes you might have to fall back and sit out and just, you know, jump off the treadmill for a minute. You know, because I know that it's spinning fast for all of us. You know what I mean? And sometimes you have to just step off the motherfucker for a minute and then just be like, you know what, let me regroup. Let me go back to when the shit was right. I'm losing my way. I don't know what the fuck's going on. But like I said, <laughs> but like I said, um, go where the energy flows. Go where it feels right. If it feels right in your core, if it feels right in your soul, then that is the direction that you go. If it is unsettling to your spirit, and it's, you know, a dysfunction to your feng shui, don't go that way. That's not the way you're supposed to go. You understand? And everybody that you meet in this lifetime have a different perspective on something. You can learn something from somebody Every, because everybody got their own story. Everybody got because everybody's not going to the same place. Everybody don't pray for the same damn things. None of that stuff. And nor are people worthy for the same things. Okay? God don't bless no mess. So when you see somebody and they constantly hitting and missing and can't get it can't get ahead in this life, and it's like, well, damn, the way, the way it seemed like they're a pretty damn decent person, they could be a hell of a liar. You know what I'm saying? They soul could be fucked up. It's not what they out here doing. It's what's up here that's got them so fucked up. They got so much hatred for people and they just so... You know, have you ever met somebody that they spirit is just so bad that this, this motherfucker just ain't got nothing good to say about nothing? I mean, just a miserable motherfucker. I didn't do it. It's, it's this 
this young lady, I, well, fuck it. It's this lady on my Facebook. I've never blocked you off because, you know, I, 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 I got the fact that you're battling something. But whatever I post, you low-key got some kind of something to say about everything. I never kicked you off or anything. Now, I've had to straighten you out a great deal of time. You know, and a lot of times people are like, why is this bitch still on your stuff? Why are you still at it? Because she needs to get what she needs to get. Okay, that's the reason why I have not blocked her up off of there. Because there's going to be something that somewhere, shape, or form that she's going to gravitate to and is going to resonate with her. And, and then once she gets what she needs, then she's going to leave or she's going to become a better person. My point is not to intimidate anybody. But when a person is intimidated by somebody, that's when you become, oh, my God, this bitch right here. No, that's not this bitch. You ain't supposed to be intimidated by a motherfucking soul. Because if he give it and he take it away, if he blessed him with it, he can give that same shit to you tenfold. But if your soul not right, you can tell everybody all day long, I don't do this, I don't do that, I don't do this. Your works is going to show on what you really, how you really getting down. Okay, because there's a whole bunch of people at church four or five days out the week and they still out here hitting and missing. And why is that when you're going to church so often? And why is that? When, why, why ain't God blessing you with a good husband? Why ain't God blessing you with a home? Why isn't God blessing you with a job? But you down there at church because there, something is wrong with their soul. Something ain't right. Okay, so it might not be what you see. It could be something internally. Their spirit, their soul ain't right. And until they figure it out, God is going to keep them in this place because they're not, they're not ready, equipped, ready, or able to go to the next phase. They're not ready for that. So I'm going to keep their ass in these murky waters, and I'm going to keep them down here in all this shit right here until they figure it out. And then that's when he opened up another path for you to go a different way in your journey. It makes perfect sense. All you got to do is think about it. This is not no high complex shit. I'm not talking about no complex shit. And I'm not, a, I'm not no um, um, Jim Crow. I ain't on no old Heaven's Gate. I ain't on no motherfucking... What's that other bullshit that these motherfuckers was talking about? Lumina? I ain't none of that motherfucking shit. I believe in the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I'm a child of God. I am sheltered by the shepherd. Regardless of what somebody might say about me. What you say about me ain't got nothing to do with me no way. It ain't none of my business. You understand what I'm saying? I ain't doing it for you no motherfucking way. This is my ministry. This is where I was placed. And regardless to what, if there's pay or no pay, I am going to come onto this platform and I am going to share my truth for all this worth. When God sees fit for me to move forward and go on to someplace else, then that's where I will go. But no, I don't need to be, you know, oh, this bitch ain't, this bitch ain't landed no movie role yet. This bitch ain't, God got me here, baby. And he's, and he's made me so comfortable that, you know, I don't have to be on YouTube plus running a full-time job. Be on YouTube making YouTube money plus over here do, got a side hustle and doing all these two or three. No, 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 baby. No, no, no. So when... Allow my spirit to speak for itself. I ain't in this motherfucker trying to brag or boast or none of that old type of shit because that ain't right no way. Didn't I just say if your soul is fucked up? So, anyway, um, you know, I just wanted to come in and I wanted to speak on that. And um, just know that I'm not stupid. I'm not stupid. I'm having fun. I'm allowing my heart to take this chance. I got my trunk tight, okay? I'm very one of these. My third eye is cold. Okay? Motherfucker can't talk me out of my pussy. Can't talk me out of my purse. Motherfucker can't have me you know, hold this dope. Run this run this money. No, you can't get... I'm not one of them. I'm not a pyramid motherfucker. You can't talk me into selling some shit. You know, I'm not none of that shit. I, I'm, I'm none of that. I'm, I'm very, very strong. Even going to the car dealerships and shit, you can't talk me into some shit. You know what I mean? Because I believe that there's leaders and there's followers. So a leader, a, a, a leader is not, I, nigga, you, what, what? See, because I'm going to the source. I'm looking up the real shit on how this shit really go down. Now, a follower, they just going to go where the masses is going. They, oh, everybody going that way? Fuck it, I'm going that way. Everybody running that way? I'm running that way. But then there's some motherfuckers like, fuck it, I ain't running. 
Everybody running that way, shit, nigga. Uh, let me go ahead on and, 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 and see what's really going on. <laughs> anyway. <sighs> this man is such fuel to my soul, man. I got decisions and shit that I need to make on the regular, you know. I ain't trying to hurt nobody. I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to have fun. I'm just trying to, you know, I'm just trying to meet new people, um, make new friends, you know, go on new adventures, taste some new things, you know, and, um, and love. That's it. I want to be loved and I want to love, you know, not saying that I don't, but sometimes things just run its course, you know. Um, you can only do some shit to somebody for so long, and then when that motherfucker is done and they fed up, ain't shit you can do about it, okay? Because, see, one thing about a man, a man feel like you ain't going to never leave. You're going to always be there. You know what I mean? Just like a woman believes that he's going to always change. That's not always a fact, because if that is who he is, that is who he is. If he's O positive, the nigga's going to always be O positive, okay? If he's a cheater, he's going to always be there. He's going to get better at it now. Now, he might not be out there eating pussy, but he out there making it mental and emotional connections with bitches. You know, he's still doing it some kind of way, shape, or form. He's still flirting with bitches. He's still buying motherfuckers lunch at work. You know what I mean? He He's not talking at while he's at home no more. Now, he's holding conversation with bitches as he's commuting back and forth to work. He's communicating with bitches on the DM. You know what I'm saying? That's still emotionally cheating. You know, that's still some fucked up shit. You know. So, anyway. I guess I just got on my soapbox. <laughs> it's a video a day in May. Vlog number 24. Oh, sapphires. Yesterday, somebody asked me, what are, what are those earrings? They're sapphires. It's my birthstone. Um, and so that's what that is. Um, anyway, and look up the holistic benefits of that. Um, anyway, let me go. Let me call my baby. He done called me a couple times. My homeboy done called. Um, so I need to, I need to get, you know, <laughs> I need to make some phone calls. And, uh, but I wanted to just chit chat with you guys and talk and kind of catch up a little bit and just share. So, anyway, I'm gone. I love you guys. I love you guys for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Mwah.